Now this is an exercise I always like to do with my class, where we determine together what all the prime numbers are between 1 and 100. Now I realize this is perhaps a little bit difficult for you to uh, see, but you should have downloaded and printed the file that belongs to this activity. So you have your own um, number grid from 1 to 100 uh, in front of you yourself. Yeah? So you can download it for free uh, from my site. So make sure you have that in front of you. Now, we're going to find out what all the prime numbers are between 1 and 100. And many students, they say, well, the prime number is a number that you can divide only by itself and by 1. Yeah? And then the answer should be a whole number. So a prime number, you can only divide by itself or by one. Now actually that's all completely true, yeah? Because the proper definition for a prime number is that a prime number is a number with exactly two factors. Because the number one, therefore, is not a prime number. So I'd like you to put a cross through the number one. Because yes, one I can divide only by itself and by one. So many students think it is a prime, but it's not because the number one only has one factor, which is one. So it's a bit, a bit of a special case. All the other primes, yes, indeed, you can only divide them by one in itself, well, or themselves. Uh, but the proper definition for a prime is it has exactly two factors. That's why the number one is not a prime. Okay, now let's continue. You have your own sheet in front of you. And we're gonna put a circle around all the prime numbers. And we're gonna start with the number two. So let's put a circle around the two because that is your lowest prime number and it's also your only even prime numbers because all the other even numbers at least have a factor 2 so they're not a prime okay so they have a factor 1 themselves and a factor 2 and probably even more so all other numbers are not prime numbers so we're going to put a cross now for all the even numbers yeah because we are trying to find out all the prime numbers between 1 and 100 well, 2 is a prime, but that makes that all multiples of 2, all other even numbers, are not primes. Yeah, so all multiples of 2, and I'd like you to do the same. You put a cross through them, because they are not prime numbers. They have at least a factor 2. Okay. So perhaps you want to put this video on pause if I go too quick. Yeah, you make sure you have crossed out all those other even numbers. So my next prime is the number 3. And indeed 3 has a factor 1 and a factor 3. And that's it. So it has two factors and that's why it's a prime. That makes all multiples of 3, yeah, they can't be prime numbers anymore because they'll have a factor 3 at least in them. Yeah? So all multiples of 3 we're going to cross out. So we've already crossed out 6, yeah? but we're going to cross out 9, 12, but now 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, 60, 63, 66, 69, 72, 75, 78, 81, 84, 87, 90, 93, 96, 99. So you'll have noticed that many of those multiples of 3 you already crossed out yeah, because they were also even. Yeah? But there were still plenty multiples of 3 left which you crossed out now, yeah, like 9, like 99, like 21. They are not prime numbers because they have at least a factor of 3. So there are not a lot of numbers left, but 5, we put a circle there because that's our next prime number, 5 has exactly two factors, one and five, and that's it. And that makes all multiples of five yeah, not prime numbers, because they have at least a factor of five. Well, multiples of five, those are either your tens, and eh? was n on zero, they, those are already crossed out, because they are also even. And multiples of five can finish on a five, so we're just looking at this uh, column. So I'm just gonna take away all those which are left, all those multiples of five, all right, there they go. Uh, and hopefully you are doing this together with me at home on your table. Um, the seven, that's our next prime. Seven and eh? one and seven, that's it. The only two factors. Making all multiples of seven not prime numbers. Now, probably most of them we already uh, put a cross through, but let's have a look. Seven, 14, 
21, 28, 35, 42, 49, square number at 7 times 7, 49, it's gone, uh, 56, 63, 70, 77, let's get rid of that one, 84, 91, yeah, and then 98, that's it, we already took that one out because it's an even number. So, so far we have 2, 3, 5, 7 being our prime numbers, and then the next one is 11. Okay, it's a prime. Take away all the multiples of 11, 22, 33, it's this diagonal, and you notice they are already crossed out. Excellent, we can continue then with 13. Okay, multiples of 13 therefore cannot be prime numbers. 26, and 39, 52, 65, 78, 91, and the next one is already over 100. Yeah. So actually, if we try one more, let's say 17, which is our next prime. 17, you can only divide by 17, and one is two factors, yeah. so it's a prime. 17, 34, yeah. 51, 68, 85, and then we already go over 100. Yeah. So there are no multiples of 17 left, and actually, for all the numbers which are left, so that makes 19 a prime, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and 97. Those are all the prime numbers between 1 and 100. Yeah, those are numbers with exactly two factors. Now let's find out how many primes there are between 1 and 100. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 of them. So 25% of the numbers between 1 and 100 had 25 out of 100, 25% is a prime. Now, do you need to remember those 25 prime numbers? Absolutely not. However, especially the lower ones, um, it's nice uh, to remember them. Uh, you should realize what is a prime number? Well, that's a number with exactly two factors. Yeah? And they can ask you, for instance, is 44 a prime? And then you need to be able to explain why yes or why no. Yeah? If they ask you, is 57 a prime? No, it's not a prime, yeah, because it has more than two factors, and you're going to give those factors of 57. Yeah? Is the number 67 a prime? And then you, you, yeah, you have to be able to explain, yes, 67 is a prime, because it only has two factors, 1 and 67. All right, so again, do you have to remember them? No, however, you have to be able to explain whether a number is a prime number, yes or no. Yeah? And do yourself a favor, try to remember as many as you can. Okay, so I hope that was a useful activity and I wish you all the best. Have a nice day.